Next, we travel to the state of Washington, where we find the Mount Rainier Scenic Railroad. Located around 70 miles south of Seattle, the railroad is situated in the Cascade Mountains. The tallest, Mount Rainier, raises its 14,411-foot peak to the north. It is the prominent landmark in the area when the skies are clear. To the south, we find the most famous volcano in the Pacific Northwest, Mount St. Helens. This view is from Johnston Ridge, which felt the full force of the May 18, 1980 eruption. The trees that once stood here were blown over like matchsticks in the nearly supersonic lateral blast. And looking into the crater, steam rises from the lava dome, which has slowly been growing since the eruption. Steam of a different kind can be found at LB Washington, which is a starting point for our quick tour of the Mount Rainier Scenic Railroad. It operates on 14 miles of the former Tacoma Eastern Railroad, which later became part of the Milwaukee Road's Pacific Extension through Montana, Idaho, and Washington. The tourist line began in 1981 after the Milwaukee Road abandoned its western extension the previous year. Currently operated by American Heritage Railways, the Mount Rainier Scenic Railroad and Logging Museum offer excursion trains during the summer months to the Logging Museum at Mineral, Washington, as well as specially themed trips. Although it is not a very big railroad, they have amassed an impressive collection of logging locomotives and equipment, many of which are on display at the museum in Mineral. This interesting contraption is a pole road locomotive. It is basically a 1920s-era Fordson tractor fitted with large double-flange wheels, allowing it to roll on small logs. Walking around the museum, you will find large buildings filled with all kinds of equipment. The locomotive shop fills with diesel smoke as a former U.S. Army Alco S1 is fired up. There's nothing like the smell of Alcos first thing in the morning. Moving over to the gear shed, we find a great selection of geared type engines, many of which are operational. As for the pumpkins that are scattered everywhere, it's the middle of October 2016, and today the railroad is hosting the Great Pumpkin Express. Kids of all ages have the opportunity to listen to the classic Peanuts story while taking a seven mile trip between Elby and Mineral aboard the train. They will meet Charlie Brown and Snoopy and get to pick out that perfect pumpkin to take back home with them. Our train today consists of four passenger coaches lettered for the Mount Rainier Scenic Railroad. They are pulled behind the Hammond Lumber Company No. 17, an Alco 282T tank engine built in 1929. It was originally employed as the No. 11 by the Crossett and Western Company in Northwest Oregon where it hauled timber salvaged from a major wildfire known as the Tillamook Burn in the 1930s and early 40s. In a great show of steam, number 17 pulls her train to the depot so passengers can board. A crowd has gathered at the loading platform and, with camera phones in hand, record the action as they eagerly await the train's arrival.
The train pulls into the station as passengers eagerly get in line to board the Great Pumpkin Express. A car alarm sounds, apparently set off by the train. While passengers climb aboard, a volunteer oils critical parts of the locomotive's running gear as the crew awaits the highball. It is a picture postcard day. The previous night, a steady soaking rain drenched the Washington Cascades, so we were pleasantly surprised to see the sunshine and clear skies this morning. As the sold-out train heads for Mineral, children wave from the windows of the cars. They may not appreciate the history of the line or the equipment they are riding in, but that doesn't matter. They are having fun. And so are we as we race ahead to catch the train again. Here is a squirrel's eye view of the train at the same location. Don't forget to duck. 
The train glides along tangent track between Elby and Park Junction in the forested foothills of Mount Rainier. On the railroad timetable, this is the Morton branch of Tacoma Rail's Mountain Division. The track is owned by the city of Tacoma. The train passes Park Junction, milepost 49.0M, on the Morton Branch. Here, the 3.5-mile National Branch heads toward Mount Rainier National Park. The track is currently out of service. Park Junction also marks the crossing of Route 706, which leads to the National Park. After crossing the highway, the train enters a more remote portion of the line, which roughly follows Mineral Creek. Just west of the shops, it crosses the creek on a girder deck bridge. At Mineral, Charlie Brown and Snoopy wait on the platform to greet the children as a train arrives. While the children enjoy the festivities at the museum, the number 17 is inspected and run around to the rear of the train for the return trip.
It momentarily disappears behind two diesels parked outside. The 481 is an EMD NW2. Behind it is an Alco RSD1, which was built in 1942 for the U.S. Army and spent much of World War II on Iranian state rail lines between the Persian Gulf and Caspian Sea. The locomotive is currently on display and not operable. Soon the train makes its return trip to Elby, with the number 17 running backwards. The Mount Rainier Scenic is an interesting line that allows travelers to step back into history while enjoying the beautiful countryside at the foot of Mount Rainier. For more information, visit mtrainierrailroad.com. This program is an excerpt from Northwest Heritage Railways, which is available on DVD, high-definition Blu-ray, and digital download. If you would like to order this program, visit 7ideaproductions.com. There is a link in the description below. And to see more content like this, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to watch more videos added weekly. From all of us at 7idea Productions, thanks for watching.